By sunrise on Monday, more than 100 MMDA personnel are ready for their mission. Their dump trucks and tow trucks stand by, waiting for the go signal. Their task to clear away traffic obstructions and illegal stalls from places near the venue of the APEC leaders' meeting. But the job won't be easy. Their superiors remind them how to deal with feisty vendors, especially in a place such as Baklaran. Then at 6.30 a.m., the MMDA personnel are deployed. They begin clearing operations along F.B. Harrison. They remove steel mesh displays, dismantle illegally placed stalls, and confiscated all items blocking the sidewalk. Some MMDA marshals are heard singing as they seize vending carts and goods. But for street vendor Farhan Damato, who hails from Marawi, it's a sad experience. The MMDA sees his vending cart. Farhan says he knew about the clearing operations since last week. But he says he has no choice but to keep selling on the streets because it's his only way to make a living for his family. Now he just hopes the MMDA would return his cart. Sana may balik yung mga time namin, yung nahuli sa amin. MMDA marshals also dismantled vendor stands. These stands which serve as extension areas of these stores are illegal. Store manager Elizabeth Gulane, who speaks for her Chinese boss, says they are simply doing what they can to keep up with the competition. Yung ibang item po na hindi dapat mabasa, mababasa po. But Elizabeth admits they're also part of the problem. Minsan po kasi, matigas talaga ang hulo namin. <laughs> and when clearing operations happen, vendors scramble to keep their goods from being seized. No matter how frail this old lady vendor is, no matter how heavy the cart. They talk their wares away, hoping these won't be confiscated. The MMDA also impounds illegally parked vehicles, motorcycles, cars, and even trucks. This family of traders cry foul as MMDA agents threaten to impound their Tamaro FX. Kung sinabi niya sa amin kanina na umalis na lang kayo, alis na kami. Ayong hindi, yung palahuling kami. In the end, the authorities prevail. The FX is on its way to MMDA's impounding bay in Pasig. With only a week before the APEC meeting, MMDA's Ed Lara admits they are pressed for time. That's why he is seeking the help of the public to be more vigilant against violators. Pero ipakita dapat natin sa kanila na hindi po minsan na itong... Pakilus natin, isusustain po natin to. Rex Remitio, CNN Philippines.